you can create applications for payments or AFPs to summarize the completed work for each cost period. AFPs, which are also referred to as requests for payment or payment requisitions, are used for contracts that don't commit costs to the budget. To access the application for payment utility from your project dashboard, click on the Budget and Cost Management tab in the left panel. Then select Applications for Payment under the Payments submenu. The Applications for Payment main page will open, where you can sort and group the AFPs as you wish. If you like this organization, you can save it as a default view. You can use the Search and Filter panel in the right to show only the application for payments that you want to see. To open an application for payment, simply click on its tile or line. The Application for Payment Details page will open, where you will see the schedule of value items and change orders involved in the application listed below. You'll likely need to scroll right and or down to see all of the details. The important column fields include work and material installed this invoice, as well as the percentage complete. These numbers, along with the retainage, you'll need to scroll right to see this, are used to calculate the current due as shown in the summary. In the right panel, you can update the status and use the switch button to lock the amounts, which will freeze all values in the grid and prevent editing. When appropriate, you can come here to enter the approved on and payment dates. And, as with all items in Project Site, you can assign in courtesy copy this application for payment to any project contact. If you have made any modifications, you'll want to save and or click done to return to the application for payments main page. Back on the application for payments main page, to create a new AFP, click on the plus button in the upper right of the screen. The Create Application for Payment window will open, where the number field may autofill, and if not, you'll have to enter a number. The Date field will default to the current date, but can be changed. The Cost period will default to the most recent cost period, but you can modify this. The Contract field will default to the Prime Contract if there's only one but if there are multiple prime contracts, you'll need to select one. When you've made your entries and selections, click Create. The Application for Payment Details page will open, where you will see the schedule of value items and change orders involved in the application listed below. You'll likely need to scroll right and or down to see all of the details. You'll need to enter the invoice or material installed values to be paid in this application. Or you can enter the percentage complete values for each item. These numbers will be reflected in the summary. You can change the status. Select a category. And assign a reviewer. View or enter information as needed using the Comments and or the Contact Information tabs. After reviewing your entries and selections, click Save and or Done to create the application for payment. The new application for payment will appear as a tile or line on the application for payments main page. You can click on the expansion icon to reveal multiple options including sending a reminder to the reviewer or approver. 